Well, good afternoon, folks. It's the real Captain Kirk here. It's the 13th of March, 2022. We are live from snowy uh, Bethlehem Plaza here in downtown Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. If you didn't turn your clocks ahead early this morning, uh, you're about an hour late for everything today. So again, spring ahead, daylight savings time has started. Um, we're going to talk again about, uh, start our video here today with the year ahead outlook. Again, something we do for these Fortune 500 companies around the world for the last 20 years. I know it sounds like crazy math, and it's trillions upon trillions upon trillions of statistics, and it's 24 climate cycles. So I uh, thought we'd share that with you here today. Again, uh, one free tool for uh, folks out there on our website is just the uh, Vacation Planner. So you can click on Vacation Planner, and let's just say we want to go somewhere warm and tropical. Um, one of my favorites is uh, Atlantis down in Nassau, Bahamas. So we'll type in here Nassau, Bahamas. I can spell right. <laughs> and let's say we want 90-degree weather and sunny skies of course so we want a nice vacation this will tell you the earliest the best and the second best so the earliest is here in early april uh, late july and uh, again toward late september so let's say you like cold and snow uh, you just change your aspen let's say we want to go to uh, 30s and some snow uh, this will give you the three best weeks uh, in the year ahead forecast using statistics and cycles so we'd say the earliest is early december mid-december and late december so it looks like a cold snowy december there for aspen so again that's our vacation planner check it out um, Again, kind of a neat tool. And again, of course, we have our WT360 Light and Pro apps. We'll start here with a last week summer here. Now, this is the big map is temperatures versus last year on a National Retail Federation calendar. So year over year trends here in the U.S. cold. It's been up and down. We go from spring to winter. Uh, seems like every week. So here again this week, 8.8 uh, .8 degrees colder than last year. Coldest in 23 years. Fifth coldest in 37 years. So much below average national temperatures. Rainfall way up, 223%. What is in six years? Ninth, what is in 37 years? And snowfall also way up, 303% uh, more than a year ago. Most in 23 years. Fourth most in 37 years. So very cold, wet, stormy uh, North America, even up in Canada. Chart bottom right there. Again, hard to read here, but uh, up in Canada, coldest in five years. Uh, UK, warmest in five. Europe, coldest in nine. Russia, a little bit warmer than the last year. Uh, world overall, coldest in nine years. So kind of a cool trend here on a world scale. Maps inset left are the trends versus average. This snowstorm that went across the country from the southwest uh, through the central U.S. Uh, all the way in the northeast. So the northeast was the big winner for sure. Uh, has snow cover here across the country at 37% of us with snow on the ground. Uh, that's uh, way above average. Average should be closer to about 23%. So it's the second most in 18 years to see this much snow on the ground for uh, the middle of March. Looking at this week here, again, hard to believe the third week of March here coming up. Um, here in the U.S., about 2.2 degrees warmer. The good news with the big storm, it, as it exploded off the northeast coast, is it taking the cold air with it. So as it gets really intense nor'easters, they tend to do that. They can pull all the cold air in and uh, suck it out. So that's what it's doing here this week. So it's a little bit warmer than expected here. So 2.2 degrees warmer than last year, warmest in six years, 10th warmest in 37 years nationally. Looking at precip, 50% uh, dry. So back to our dry trend, drier than last year, least in three years, 12th uh, dries in 37, and snow about the least in 10 years. So maps inset left are the trends versus last year's temperatures and uh, preset maps are versus average. We'll look at the six day snowfall trends here. Not much, again, as the big nor'easter. It's getting a little bit of lake effect downwind and some high elevation Rocky Mountain snows. But overall here, 91% less snow than last year, 91% below average, least in 27 years, second least in 37 years. So again, back to our flip flop pattern here. We went from cold, wet, stormy here last week and again back to a warmer, drier, less snowy trend here this week. So this chart is just uh, puts it into perspective again, second least in 37 years. So not a lot of snow out there, even though it's looks like a lot, uh, just not on a uh, typical for this time of year. Next week, we're gonna have to watch again for the severe weather threat, tis the season. So tornadoes are already have about 121 tornadoes so far this year. Uh, that's up 303% over last year's anemic non-existent season. So uh, still about 20% below average, but uh, again, way above last year and we think that trend will continue here as we go through this march april may spring season here next week again a little bit cooler than last year uh, coolest in three years but still 10th warmest so well above average nationally a warm spot will be a uh, uh, east uh, colder spot out in the rockies precip just a hair wetter than last year most in 10 years fourth wettest in 37 years so we'll have to watch there's a lot of rain fall there in the plains they need it drought stricken parts of the um, plains, central plains, uh, south central U.S. So again, we'll see if they get that much rain. But with that, unfortunately, probably some severe weather thunderstorm activity. Um, so again, we'll see about that here for the last week of March. We just aggregate these trends here for the two-week outlook overall for the next two weeks of March for the latter half here. Again, getting warmer here east. So uh, after some cold and snow uh, spring, it looks like it might actually get a little bit of an extended trend here for a week or two uh, in the east. Uh, pretty cold there across the uh, Mediterranean and um, Eastern Europe and uh, again across much of Russia. Uh, precip versus average is inset left here. 
Uh, we will end with some of our um, snowstorms that we've had here in the, today. We started off uh, kind of spring-like here in eastern PA. You see the snow geese there. Snow geese actually left right before the snow hit. Uh, ended up with about five, six inches of snow here in eastern PA. So again, it was a, a pretty heavy here for uh, for mid mid March. So with that, folks, we hope you have a great week. Uh, we will be back here again this week time uh, next week Sunday. See you then.